One of the issues that made the minister to come and be able to provide leadership and support to the province, it has to do with her portfolio. The question of what? We suffered too much. Mother, help us, Mrs. Zulu, help us, please, help us. I ask, we shall thank God if you can help us to get out on this thing. Malukia Pofu is the source of water for the whole country. Now we have a situation where uh, one dam called Fika Patu uh, has dried. We don't know why, because we have another dam, we have a tail of three dams. Sterkfontein is 100%, Metsimatu is 80%, Fika Patu is 10%. Um, this dam gives about 80% of residents of Malutia Pofung water. Now it has been low for years now, and people haven't been getting running water, which is the main problem that we are facing as the residents of Malutia Pofung. No water. We couldn't even do our washings. There were times now where we had now to go and fetch water from the wells, and some of the wells are not well cleaned. This thing it happens almost every day to this uh, uh, poor community here. As you saw, the, the, the truck went past here, and then the truck they didn't want to stop there to bring the community water. The municipality that is having a problem is under Section 139 of the Constitution, which means that uh, its autonomy has been taken away from, from them. They now fall un directly under National Minister, who is Minister Nkosazana Tlabeni Zuma. So for water purposes, I gave that power of making sure that there is water in the air area to our water board, which is called Sidibeng. Sidibeng Water or any other water board, they give bulk water to the municipality. The municipality then reticulates the water. Once the water is reticulated, then it is out of the bounds of the water board and the department. With all that, the challenges become there at reticulation and the challenges become where the municipality has to actually do operations and maintenance. The Fika Patswa Dam was neglected by the municipality because if you go on top of those mountains there, there are channels that are bringing the water to that Fika Patswa Dam. Probably now they are closed because no one is taking care of them. The only problem that we have there is that there is no maintenance at the, at, at, at the, at the dam. The dam has not been maintained, it has been neglected for far too long. Simple, you can just walk here and clean this area and you can close this. And it is, if it's a serious problem, it's the good time to fix this because the dam is empty. Because from time to time, you need to go to clean those streams, take out the weed, take out the trees that are growing there. Now, that is why we found ourselves in this situation. There was a total shutdown in Guagua where roads were barricaded. It was almost two to three days you can't move. And even a child passed away, drowned in a river. Those things sensitize to say, Minister must come down. And I told her, Minister, please, I can't go to Kwaka. Hakino ya maludia pofu. We are having a problem. So Minister told me, well, don't worry. Let's go and face them. Whether we're shapaka maje, whether we're whether but one thing for sure, those, our people and their When we declared a national disaster, we called in all the water boards and gave each water board a significant amount of money 
to offset the, the, you know, the effects of the drought. We gave Sidibeng, which is responsible for the water here, 280 million rands. But after assessing Kwakwa itself, we realized that we needed additional resources for this municipality. We will augment the resources that we have given to Sidibeng by giving this particular area 220 million rands rain fenced for a particular period. How many trucks, water trucks, <coughs> are you going to provide? Because by 2015, we had 140 water trucks. But we never managed to provide the people of corporate support. We only managed, what, what we did, we just managed the, the situation. So today, if we are saying we are still going back to that, I'm telling you, this, that is not going to work. Here in Malutia Profum, we don't want any trucks. We want the water running through our taps. We don't want Jojo's here. We want water running through our taps. If we are continuing with this thing of tankering, 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 we will never get water here in Malutia Profum. We want water that is running through our taps, please. There is no need for mm. us to be antagonistic. We are all here because our people are suffering. Yes. And I have taken all day, and yesterday and today and all week to prepare to be here to make sure that tomorrow you don't have the same problem. Let's look at today and make sure that we can utilize today to the best of our ability. I think this program is helping a lot. Even though people are crying by saying this workload is a burden to their, to their shoulders, but I think it's better because if you have water inside the house, it's better not having water inside the house. You'll go and fetch the water maybe from the river, maybe from the fountains, some are far from the people. But now this program I think is very helpful. Actually, Maluta Pofu Municipality, they are rejecting the minister's intervention here because they don't want to hear anything from Sidibeng. That is why now you see you approaching six weeks, that minister says he will come back to uh, Maluta Pofu again to check whether the, the project are continuing, but there is nothing happening here. This power struggle has shown itself in many areas where we are seeing that whatever effort or whatever uh, progress we have made, it will actually go out in the media as if nothing has happened and if nothing is happening. Sidibeng so water is being labeled as useless despite everything that has been done with all the power struggles that are there. Your responsibility is to take what I have given you and implement it. The resources are here. I've given them over to CD Bank. Under CD Bank will be a task team that comes from yourselves. I couldn't get any further than that in the immediate term. We wish to thank the Minister for sending these trucks if and only if she can try now to send more, then it's going to be better. So we are going to live far more better than we had lived before. So thanks very much for that.